Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing another Clean With Me marathon. And if you're new here or unfamiliar what this is exactly, it's basically where I have compiled several of my last cleaning videos into one very, very long video that you can just put up right on your TV or your tablet or on your phone and clean right along with me through whatever project you're working on. And that way you don't have to worry about having to change the video or anything. You can just stay completely focused on your tasks while cleaning along with a friend. So I started sharing these marathon videos almost three years ago and you guys have absolutely loved them. They were actually my husband Kyle's idea so I'm definitely grateful to him because these have just been a game changer and something that I love to share with you guys and I actually haven't shared one of these in quite a while. I've been starting to get some more requests for them so I wanted to go ahead and share another one today and just help you guys get through whatever you have going on on your to-do list and if you are not subscribed already make sure to click that subscribe button as well as the notification bell because I am going to be continuing on sharing new house projects and makeover videos along with a lot of cleaning motivation in our new home just kind of getting it all set up for us so you do not want to miss out on all of those new videos coming out and I'm also in the process right now of filling up my calendar for next month's videos so if you guys will do me a quick favor and just head on down to the comments and let me know what your very favorite videos are from me that would help me a ton and just help me to make sure that I am including the most popular requests into next month's videos I always try to read every single comment from y'all and it just means so much when you guys help me out with this and just take the time to chat with me and we can kind of get to know each other better so definitely go say hi before you jump into all of your work today I hope you guys really enjoy this video and it gives you tons and tons of motivation and all that you need today and without further ado let's do this Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to start decorating for fall and I have been so excited for this video because this is not only my first fall clean to decorate in our new home, but also the first time that I'm decorating at all for any seasons in our new house in Arizona. So we moved here about three or four months ago and so we haven't had a chance to decorate for any seasons yet, obviously. And fall is one of my absolute favorites to decorate for. So I'm really excited just to see how everything's gonna turn out with all of the neutral fall decor and all of those warm cozy colors. I'll be taking you guys along with me the entire way but of course before we get into the decorating I do want to clean everything up and just make sure that we're starting with a clean slate so I will be giving you guys some cleaning motivation and then I also have a few delicious fall recipes to share with you guys this year so definitely stay tuned for that as well but without further ado let's jump on into it. I want to hear you say yeah. Under the stars, I see everything that led to where we are, and I wouldn't change a thing. Under the moon, all the wishing that we did is coming true, like I got magic up my sleeve, and you can't fight the moonlight when it's moon. So 
So as I'm cleaning up the living room, I'm just starting to pull everything off the shelves. And normally I would just pull off the things that I don't think I'm going to use, but I actually think I'm going to end up transitioning most of this decor out so I can go ahead and add a lot of the fall decor in. And because I am doing a big transition in decor, I just figured I might as well take advantage of this time and just go ahead and clear these shelves completely off. And that way I can dust everything off and just give it a really good clean. It's been a while since we felt the way we did back when we were dumb and younger. It's been a while since. So I feel like, especially during the holidays, I always feel incredibly grateful because one of the things that I love the most and just one of my biggest hobbies is home decor and decorating my space. But we didn't always have home decor in our house. Back when Kyle and I first got married, we did not have much at all. And I've shared this in the past, but I remember going to friends' homes and just seeing their homes beautifully decorated and we didn't have any extra money at the time to purchase any home decor. And I just remember feeling kind of bummed out that I wasn't able to do that at the time and just hoping that one day I would be able to actually cover my shelves in home decor and just make our home very homey and cozy for our family to enjoy. And now years later, we are able to do that. And so every single year that I pull out all of our decor, I just get an overwhelming feeling of thankfulness and gratefulness for that. And so I did just want to take a moment to share that with you. If you are at a stage in your life where you're not really able to have the extras, don't feel like you are alone. I know so many of us have been there. Probably a majority of us have been there or are there currently. And since I know this time of year can be very hard emotionally, I just wanted to take a moment to be able to give back to you guys. So I'm going to be sharing a giveaway in this video. I'm going to be picking two of you to win $50 cash and that way it can just kind of help you get a little bit of home decor for the holidays or you can do whatever you want with the money but I just want to be able to give back to you guys a little bit more especially during the holiday time so all you have to do to enter this giveaway is just make sure that you are subscribed to my channel because this is a subscriber giveaway and then make sure that you comment on this video and also my next video that I post on my channel and you can comment whatever you'd like let me know what you're doing today let me know what the weather's like where you're at or let me know if you have any fun plans for the fall, just whatever you want. But I will have all the information for this giveaway in the description box below. But good luck to all of you and thank you so much for being here.
has the same effect on me It's just something about the way that he's making me feel But it's not too hot, I just wanna shout his name oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run up through his hair But I'm trying not to stare mm -mm. I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hate him even if I tried Shaking from the urge of being with him I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip of myself oh, My body's giving up on me Cause I don't know what to do with my fingertips oh, I wanna run him through his hair But don't stare I get a little starstruck when I see him I couldn't hit him even if I tried It's making me hot and he has the same effect on me I act a little dumber when I try to get his number I'm so nervous that I'm losing grip on myself I get a little starstruck when I see Be my lover, yeah. be my best friend I will wait on your border until you will let me in Hand on my head, chest on my chest To the sound of voices and of drums So you guys will have to let me know what the weather is like where you're at. Here in Arizona, it's still like 90s. Sometimes we're still having over 100 degree days. And it's very different for us because this is the first fall that we're experiencing here as a family. Now I have shared that I've spent so many of my summers here growing up just visiting my dad, but I haven't spent a whole ton of falls here just because I was usually in school and so I didn't come down for the fall time very often. And so although I am pretty familiar with the temperature here in Arizona, it is just very different for us to not be like starting to feel pretty cozy and getting that little nightly chill and stuff in the air but one thing that has really helped it feel a lot more like fall here is that our kids have already been back in school for over a month now so they started back like the very beginning of August and once our kids go back to school I always feel like it's fall so that has definitely helped but I will say that as soon as you walk out the door and that heat hits you you just kind of forget that it's fall so I am doing my absolute best just to kind of bring fall inside our house and make it cozy in here and I will say once I got everything all decorated it is feeling so so cozy and it's been making me want to cozy up with a blanket on the couch and just watch a movie I'm getting really 
really excited for Christmas and Halloween and just all of the fun holidays that are coming up. But anyway, I kind of went off on a little tangent there, but definitely let me know what the weather has been like where you're at. Are you already feeling that crispy fall weather or is it still feeling like summer where you're at too? Yeah, we live New York City with our windows down. And I play them for people And we found a church And then we found a steeple And these songs I've been writing I pay in the bail all right, we have the kitchen and living room all cleaned up. I do have to clean out the hallway and like this cove area. This is just left over from whenever we did our office last week. But having these empty is just reminding me of when we first moved in here. It feels like very, very bare in here already. And I normally wouldn't actually pull everything out, but because I was gonna pull a lot of it out, I decided to just go ahead and pull everything out and get everything like really nice and cleaned out in there. But now I am like really extra itching to get all of the decor back in there because it's just looking very, very bare. So anyway, I'm loving how everything's looking now. I always love big cleaning days like this because although it's not a lot of work, it is like very rewarding in the end. So anyway, let's go ahead and start tackling this drop zone. I've been dreaming so much lately about your face when you're smiling. It's the only thing that saves me. Hey, I don't know if I told you that I think you're beautiful and how oh, I can't wait to hold you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down and I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror. This is something that I know for sure It's just something about you I just want more Tell me what you want to do right now Tell me what you want to do tonight I really don't care as long as I'm with you Hey, now look into my eyes You can use them as a mirror, baby You're my ticket to paradise So mopping our floors is something that I have to convince myself of every time. I'm pretty much never jumping for joy to mop our floors. I don't know what it is. I've told you guys this before, but it's just like one of my least favorite chores to mop our floor. I don't mind vacuuming, but mopping is just not my jam. But I will say this mop has made it so satisfying to mop our floors. And it really does make a huge difference, especially with the flooring that's in our home now. It's like a very dark flooring and it's also such a similar tone throughout. And so it really shows off any dirt. So with that being said, at the same time, even though it does show off a lot of dirt when it's dirty, 
once it's mopped it just looks so incredibly good it makes the house feel a million times cleaner and it is very motivating and just it does kind of make you want to clean those floors and mop them a little bit more often so even though it is a really big job especially because i was going to be going ahead and just decorating everything i wanted the floors to match all the decor and just look really nice so that's why i took the time to go ahead and vacuum and mop even though mopping is not my thing <laughs> So I have all of my fallout. A lot is from previous years, and then I did pick up some new things this year because I'm kind of going for more like orange and warm tones in this house. So I did pick up a few new things, but I can definitely use a lot that I had in previous years. But I am so bummed out. I actually thought that our coffee table that we had ordered had arrived because the door rang and I saw something had been delivered and it wasn't the coffee table, but it was actually something else that I'm really excited about. However, it was broke. So I'm gonna show you guys what I ordered and what it came like. I'm definitely gonna have to get it replaced, um, but it was from Amazon, so I'm sure they won't have an issue with it. It's just such a bummer that it broke. Okay, so this is the first one. It came as a set, and my plan is to stick them behind our stove just to kind of brighten the space a little bit and add some texture back there. But this is the first one. It's actually, I think it's like real marble. It's very heavy, and then it has mango wood on the side, and this is the one I was so excited about. It's so beautiful, but it came broke right down the middle like that. So I'm super, super bummed about it, but you can tell just like how beautiful this was going to be. So I'll have to talk to them and see if I can get another one sent out and replaced for it, but it's so pretty. So I'll probably end up adding that in. This one just won't be today, obviously. But anyway, let's go ahead and start decorating. I think I'm gonna start with the shelves and get as far as I can with those first and then kind of move on from there. So decorating a home for the first time is so fun. It's just like inspiring and it's really fun to kind of try some new things. But at the same time, there's no just kind of doing what's familiar and what you already know because every space is totally new. So that's kind of the struggle that I found myself in whenever I was decorating our new home. It was so much fun just to try things out and just see how everything was turning out. But it was also giving me a tough time just like not really knowing where to start, not knowing how to place things. And so as you will see, I really struggled with these shelves and it was a lot of trial and error, but I kept with it. And in the end, I ended up loving how everything turned out in the shelving area. It just was very subtle, but very cozy and warm. And I'm really, really loving the style that I'm kind of going with this year of like very earthy and neutral and just a lot of fun texture. So if you are struggling while you're decorating this fall or for any season or any space, just stick with it. Eventually you will find what works really well but it definitely takes some patience and a lot of trial and error.
will be doing my best to link everything that I can down below. A lot of things were from previous years and then several of the things that I found were actually from like Home Goods and TJ Maxx just because you can find a really good deal at those stores usually. But some of the items did come from stores like Target or Walmart or Kirkland's, just kind of different places like that. So I will be doing my best to link everything below that I can find. I have all of the shelving finally decorated. This part definitely takes the longest I'm finding out just because it's like such a large area with a lot of different decor pieces. But once you get it figured out, it does look really nice and it's just like subtle, but I love like all the orange tones in there. And then I popped like a few pops of black and then some white to brighten everything. So I'm, I love it so much. You guys love to let me know what you think. Now that this is done, there's not a whole lot more that I want to do in the living room other than I do want to change out some throw pillows. So the next thing that we're going to do is come into the kitchen. I don't think I'm going to use a lot of this, so I'll end up storing a lot of that for once we're out of like the seasons, like Christmas and fall and winter and all that. But I think I'm gonna move some of the plants and decorate a little bit over there and then just a few more touches in the kitchen. And then, yeah, we'll be mostly decorated for fall. So here I'm just starting to go through my decor and I'm kind of deciding what things I'm going to be keeping and what things I'm planning to donate. I am still planning on decorating our bedroom for the fall and maybe like our powder room as well. So that's what I'm planning to use my other decor for. But anything that I think I won't use, I'm definitely going to donate and pass along. I'll probably either give it to my sisters that live here close to me or I'll end up donating it to someone else in need. But either way, I'm going to be pretty picky on the things that I choose to keep that I'm not going to use this year. So in the kitchen, I wanted to keep things very simple. I didn't really want to overdo it and clutter the space. So I just had a few subtle hints of fall in the kitchen. 
but I really wanted to kind of warm things up and also brighten things in here a little bit with our dark countertops. And so one of the things that I wanted to do was add these cutting boards behind our stove. I really felt like it would add a lot of warmth and texture into this space. But I did have a fun, exciting thing to share. I've been talking to Kyle about our kitchen, kind of changing things up. You guys know I've talked about this um, ever since moving into our new house that we have been wanting to kind of change things up in our kitchen and one of the things that we're really wanting to do is actually cut the island down to be one level we had that in our last house and we really just found it so much more useful and functional for our family and I also love the look of it as well so we are gonna go ahead and start with that very very soon so stay tuned for that I am so excited we're planning to get back into the habit of vlogging a bit more and sharing those things over on our vlog channel so so make sure that you're subscribed over on the Kyle and Amanda vlog channel if you're not already and that way you don't miss out. We're planning to share a lot of like kitchen remodeling stuff over there and then of course some of the things will end up on this channel as well. But if you're subscribed to both channels then you'll definitely not miss out on any of it. Okay, so it is the next day and everything is looking so fall-like in our house right now. But once I was finished decorating last night, I just realized there were a few things that I wanted to add to a few spaces. So I ended up going out and grabbing just a couple more things for that. So we will be jumping back into decorating and getting everything totally finished for fall. But before we do that, I do want to jump into the kitchen and start making the recipes that I wanted to share because one of them is a crock pot recipe and I need to get that going so we can have that for dinner tonight. So the first recipe that I'm going to be sharing is a delicious fall chili. It's so, so yummy and super easy to put together. And of course, because it is a crock pot recipe, there's really not a whole lot to it. And the second one is a pumpkin overnight oats. It's very, very simple, very easy to do and super delicious. And it just makes your morning start off feeling very cozy like fall. So I'm super excited to share those recipes with you guys. And then once we're done with the recipes, we will jump back into decorating and finish getting our living space totally done for fall.
All right, now that we have the chili cooking in the crock pot, I'm gonna go ahead and make the overnight oat recipe. So a lot of times what I do is I actually will prep out all of our dry ingredients into little bowls. And then whenever I'm ready to make them like for the next morning, I will then add any of the liquid ingredients in. So that's what I'm gonna do today. I am gonna make two of them. Usually Kyle and I will have them in the morning. The kids are not the biggest fans of it. I think cause it's like cold oatmeal. You could always heat it on the stove. I just, I don't know. I like it cool personally. But anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and do a few for like prepping for the week. And then I am gonna make a few as I would normally make them and we'll have them tomorrow morning. Kitchen is already smelling so good with the chili cooking and stirring up the oat bowls that I just made. It smells literally just like a pumpkin pie. So it's super good smelling in here. But now I'm gonna go ahead and just start showing you guys a few of the things that I picked up and then we will get those all put up. So this is the first thing that I got. These are actually live flowers. I was in the floral section of our grocery store and I was about to pick up just like some regular flowers. And then I saw this one and I thought this is beautiful. I love the vase that it comes with. And then I just loved like the natural greenery in it. And of course, like the beautiful sunflowers and dried flowers in here is so pretty. I think I'm gonna take this little scarecrow out just cause it's not really going with the rest of what I'm doing in here, but I really love that. tells me it's his first time on a plane we took off and headed east i was thumbing through the magazines he felt like talking and offered me his name so, right, so as you can see i did not get a whole ton of stuff i really wanted to get something big though to go right here and i really wanted to get a wreath i don't know if i'll regret doing this because i'm not the best wreath maker but I was just so sticker shocked at all of the prices of the wreaths at the stores, or at least the ones that I liked. And so I decided I may be gonna try to make my own wreath. I picked up these little leather pumpkin picks. I really love the color of them. And then I do have these florals. I just had these already. And I also have this one down here. So 
I had those already and I figure I could make something work. If not, I'll just keep trying at it, but that is going to be what I attempt to do today. We'll see. I also picked up these cloths or these towels just to add some more color in the kitchen and put them on the stove. And then this pumpkin was not really planned, but it was so cute. I just found this one at Hobby Lobby. Actually, most of these came from Hobby Lobby other than these towels came from Home Goods. And then I thought this one was just so beautiful as well. I loved like the copper orange look of it and I just love that it was just simple leaves. So anyway, that's everything I picked up. So now let's finish decorating. So I asked him how he was and he smiled and said, well, son, I've been better, I've been worse, I've chased after pretty girls. So this next space that I wanted to focus on was this area next to our hall closet, kind of right before you get to the kitchen and living room. It's just this wall next to the stairs and I've never really done anything with that space so far, but it's definitely asking to be decorated for the holidays. And so I ended up just putting this simple fall sign and then I'm going to add a wreath that I'm going to attempt to make myself, so wish me luck with that. So for the wreath, I just chose a bird's nest wreath as my base. And then I'm just kind of adding in little picks of florals in here. And these little picks were actually sticking really well into the wreath, so I didn't feel like I needed to glue them or strap them down or anything. I just kind of stuck them right into the wreath. And then I just clipped any of the stems on the back that were kind of sticking out. And then I also have these pumpkin picks that I'm adding in as well, kind of as the feature of the wreath. And then to add filler in the middle and just make it all look kind of seamless, I am actually just using some old flowers that I had that I'm not going to be using anymore. These were actually going to be in my donate pile and I decided I could definitely use these for a wreath and I ended up loving how it turned out so you guys will have to let me know what you think sometimes it takes the sky to see what's on the ground So this is how the wreath turned out. I actually think I like it a lot. <laughs> I was actually hoping that these little pieces right here were like a more white or cream. And I, when I got home and realized they were darker, I was like kind of bummed because it just kind of blends more with this, but it's okay because it'll look great like against the white door. And I just think overall, I really, really like it. And it was done with everything. Well, I had like all the expensive stuff pretty much. I just needed to get this, which I think was like on sale, less than $6. And then these pumpkin things were at Hobby Lobby for half off or 40% off. So pretty good. I like it. Let's go ahead and put it up on the uh, door and see how it looks. I've walked in the heart of times. I've walked out the other side. It seems like you end up getting what you need. Yeah, looking down from Life's been good so this piece of garland is something that I got from Target last year, I believe. Actually, no, maybe it was Hobby Lobby that I picked this up at. I think they still have it this year, but I ended up getting it last year and I just couldn't find a good spot for it. And I almost wasn't even going to use it. And then I decided last minute to add it on the fireplace. And it's amazing the impact it made. I felt like it just really brought together that whole space and just kind of tied it all together. 
and made the fall decor a little bit more obvious and less subtle. It's so hard to stay on top of the world When the world keeps telling you who you should be All these people telling you what you need Oh, darling, only you can set your spirit free Pay attention now, I ain't gonna stop it, stop it Honey, everything you need is in your pocket all right, this is a cove that is up like right as you're walking up the stairs and right before you get to the top of the stairs. And as soon as we moved into this house, I knew this cove was going to be a spot where I could really do a lot and just make a big impact here. But I did not have any idea how much I would love this space. So I ended up grabbing this base. I actually thrifted this one from our local Goodwill for only $9 back when we first moved here. And I love the size of it and the texture. I did not even have to DIY it or do any to it so anytime you are looking for large pieces like that definitely take a look at your local thrift store and then all the florals that I'm adding to this are either from Ikea surprisingly or also Hobby Lobby Last touch that I wanted to add into this space was some hay bales and that was for two reasons one to take up some space and add a lot of texture and height to the area as well and I loved how it turned out it definitely made a huge mess so just be aware of that if you're using real hay bales but it really does make a big impact if you can find a spot for them in your home A small town in a little oasis where my big dreams were gonna take me places I would make bets with the rising sun and tell him all I had done well, Late night walks into Lindbergh Park and sometimes I kiss a girl even after dark And I never had to shout cause I could hear my thoughts out loud I just wanna make you proud In Little Falls you're a small town honey Rich in love, but not in money Even if I change my tempo Not gonna let go of everything you meant to me And Little Falls, you will stay my home And if I move on when I am full grown I will still make bets with the rising sun Like I did when I was young Not all my memories are good though But I wouldn't change them if I could, no Big smiles and ridiculous laughter, I will fold that in And remember where I begin You are my next of kin Little Falls, you're a small town, honey Rich in love, but not in money Even if I change my tempo Not gonna let go of everything you meant to me And Little Falls, you will stay my home and if I move on when I am full grown, I will still make bets with the rising sun like I did when I was young.
So that is everything for my 2021 fall clean and decorate. I do still plan to decorate our bedroom, but that will be in a future video. So definitely stay tuned for that one. But I love how everything turned out. It's just very earthy and warm and subtle and so many textures. I am just loving this fall decor. I feel like it's my favorite that I've ever done. And I hope that you really loved it too. And I hope you got a lot of ideas and inspiration. And if nothing else, I hope it gave you some cozy fall vibes and just made you feel happy while you watched this video today. Thank you so much for being here. I am so incredibly grateful for you guys. Whether you write me a comment or send me a message or just watch the video, I am just so grateful for all of you guys. I hope you have the most amazing day. Do not forget to enter that giveaway. Like I said, I will have all that information down below for you guys. Also, if you are not already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you in my next one. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm gonna to be sharing an after dark clean with me. This is one of my favorite times of the day to clean once everyone's gone to bed and the house is nice and quiet. I also love sharing these videos with you guys just because they are so almost therapeutic and just very relaxing and calm to watch. So I hope you guys really enjoy today's video. Kyle is getting some work done in his office. The boys are already sound asleep upstairs. So I just figured I had a lot of time tonight just to focus on our home and kind of taking care of it. As you can see, I have a bit of a mess behind me in my bedroom. I did have to wash our blankets and so I have to finish making my bed. But I also want to decorate our bedroom for fall and I also just want to start adding a few things on our walls. As you can see, we really don't have a whole ton in here, really just kind of functional pieces. So I want to go ahead and get that a little bit more decorated tonight. And then once we're done in here, I want to move into our kitchen and living room and just get that all cleaned up tonight so that tomorrow we can start off with a clean slate. So we have a lot to get done tonight. It is very late. It is completely pitch black outside. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. Let's jump into it. I want to hear you say yeah. So as usual, I'm going to try not to talk a whole lot during this video because I am trying to make this very relaxing and calming for you to watch, but I have picked some amazing music so you can just put this up and enjoy cleaning along with me. But I hope that as you watch this video, you can kind of think of things that are going to make you feel more relaxed and more calm in your life. I feel like mindset is something so important in just enjoying our lives a little bit more. For example, the things that I'm doing tonight are not my favorite things. They're not anything that I'm really looking forward to. I definitely am not excited to fold a bunch of laundry or anything, but especially when I am doing after dark cleaning and everything is kind of quiet and life just seems to move a little bit slower, I try to kind of make my mindset match that a little bit more. And instead of just feeling bummed out that I have to be folding laundry or doing whatever kind of chores I have to do, I really just try to find the joy in those things. And while I'm working, I'm just thinking about 
how thankful I am that I'm able to take care of our home and prepare this space for our family. I think it is a blessing that we are able to do those things and a lot of times we kind of overlook that and only see the work. So next time you're cleaning, whether it's in the middle of the day or if you're able to take a little bit of time in the evening when it's kind of a little bit more peaceful and calm, think about what a blessing it is that you are able to take care of your home and just allow yourself to enjoy the little things in life a little bit more. Love that will never need to hide Love will always rise above Whatever comes, we will be just fine If I am yours and you are mine Take my hand and let's fly away To another galaxy Hold me close, I want to feel your love Together we are free just be with me, just be with me, just be with me. Now we're one with the sun over our heads, and at night we'll be the stars. We can go any place that we want to. I don't care if that's too far Take my hand and let's fly away To another galaxy Hold me close, I want to feel your love Together we are free Just be with me Just be with me Just be with me And I think how it was before the paint started fading. No history books we written out this plot, but the stories I've heard are persuading. This old, old house is a castle to me, a place that I'll keep in a warm memory. Someday I'll be gone and I'll turn in my key, and then I'll be a little piece of the house history, and then I'll be a little piece of the house history Rock stained glass Draft the old doors Cracked window sills and scratch floors Holes in the wall for ancient decor Cobwebs on the ceiling Be a little piece of 
So I lift my hands to the God that guides me, to the one that finds me, even in my darkest days he walks beside me singing. So you can kind of see here and you'll see it later on for sure, but I was struggling so much with deciding how to put the decor pieces up and I was really struggling in this area too just on where we should put these signs. I'm not even sure at this point like if they really fit in this space or not. I really do love them, but I just feel like because this wall is so big right here, I'm just not sure if they fit really well. So you guys will have to help me out with your opinions on this. Let me know if you think we should move these signs off to the left. That was my original idea, but I just wasn't really sure about it. And then Kyle said he thought we should put them right above the bench and maybe I'll put something off to the left. But I honestly could see it just not really working in the space. So let me know what your thoughts are on these. One thing that I was sure about was this print that we decided to put in the cove right when we walk into our bedroom. Originally, we had had our wedding picture in there. That one actually isn't the best quality. It just wasn't really printed correctly. And mostly the reason we decided to change that out was because it just wasn't really a good fit for the space. It wasn't the right shape. And this picture just fits the space so well. So we actually really, really love it here. I do think I'm probably going to end up changing out this mirror right here in the future, but for now, this is good and even though I'm not totally sure about a few of the things that I decided to do in our bedroom tonight, I am so much happier with the space now just because it feels like it's a little bit more filled up and a little bit more cozy. I could really not get this little area figured out so that's what I have for now but I want to show you guys something I found just like two seconds ago if you are scared of like creepy crawlies don't watch but well this is like the third little guy we've found in our house now so it's moving in can you see that it's a little scorpion and it's like a baby. He is dead, thank goodness. But, oh my gosh. Ew. I am so grossed out right now. Ugh, I am so grossed out right now. Our robot vacuum actually got two of them. That's how we found the other two. We've never found a living one in our house. Of course, our cats may have found them, I don't know. But that's the third one now that we found in our house. And thankfully, they've all been dead, but I hate it. Hate it, hate it, hate it so much. Uh, it just like gives me the creep. So anyway, we're gonna move on past that because now I'm definitely not gonna be able to go to sleep. But we are done with my bedroom. There's definitely still more that I want to do in here, but um, even just like the little bit that I did actually added quite a lot. I love that pop of orange on the bed. So 
Anyway, now that we're done in here, we are gonna move into the kitchen and living room and just work on getting that all nice and clean for tomorrow. Doesn't take much to see you're hurting, my dear. The story's written in your eyes. The past you're hiding from just won't disappear. It breaks you down inside. You fear the life you have. To satisfy, you disconnect so no one else feels the pain. To keep the casualties lowered in the fight. Oh, but what you don't know is, I want to go to war for you, no matter what we're up against. I promise I'll keep fighting This tug of war you're caught in between And it keeps you up at night Oh, I want to go to war for you No matter what we're up against I promise I'll keep fighting this I don't want to see the other side you're standing next to me Cause this won't ever be a victory without you So if you've seen my last few videos, you might have noticed I've edited them just slightly different here and there. I've been adding in a little bit 
of like the actual sound of me cleaning whatever I'm cleaning at the moment. I find it very satisfying. I don't totally love like the fully ASMR videos just because I kind of like the beat of the music a little bit more, but I've been personally loving just adding a few touches of like the real sound, but you guys will have to let me know if you guys have been enjoying that or if you like just only music and voiceovers or kind of how you've been liking it. Just let me know in the comments kind of what your preference is. But anyway, typically when I do my after dark cleaning, I will just pop all of the dishes into our dishwasher and just wash them that way. But once in a while, especially when I'm kind of trying to more enjoy homemaking and not just rush through the process, I will sit there and just wash dishes by hand. I always have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for dishes and just washing them by hand because it kind of reminds me of washing them by hand with my mom. And so anytime I do a full sink load of dishes by hand, it just always takes me back to that. And it's something that even though I don't love washing dishes, I can definitely find joy in that. You guys will have to let me know if you have something like that where you don't necessarily love doing a certain thing, but you have kind of a soft spot for it because it triggers a memory for you. I know one thing for Kyle is the smell of gas always reminds him of driving around with his dad. And so I know we all kind of have those little things, but it would be really interesting just to hear a few of yours if you have any. But anyway, I'm just kind of rambling along, but I hope this video has been bringing you some peace and calmness into your day as you're watching. Get some wrinkles on my forehead. I wanna build fires in a house that's made of your wood. We can drive the kids to school, read them stories from our bed, kiss them on a the little tiny fall. Wanna lose touch with what's hip and what's current I wanna go crazy in a house that's made of you I wanna grow older, I wanna grow wiser I wanna grow flowers in a house that's made of you Rainy days don't seem so wet Stormy nights don't stay From the moment that we met You were worth the wait Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know Talk for hours and never slept Two silhouettes on the concrete steps We watched the sun as it slowly crept From the horizon to the place we met Oh, this could be the best thing that I'll ever know
So I have been a night owl ever since I can remember, ever since I was a little girl. And so maybe that's why I'm able to find a lot of joy in just cleaning at night once everybody has gone to sleep. And I honestly also suffer from insomnia a little bit. So I think that's kind of another reason is it just keeps my mind busy when I'm not really able to sleep. But let me know if you are a night owl or a morning person. And also if you like to clean during the night or if you'd rather wake up before everyone else and get your cleaning done then or if it just doesn't really bother you to do all of your cleaning during the day. I find that during the day I have so many other tasks that I don't always love to do all of my cleaning during the day. I do like my daily cleaning but I really do just love getting our house nice and clean or at least like the main living areas at night and that way when we wake up it is so peaceful and calm to wake up to a beautifully clean home and it just starts the day off on the right foot for me. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I really wanted to create something very peaceful and calm for you, especially with how stressful and chaotic the world can be. I think it's so nice to just be able to find those peaceful and calm moments in our lives. So I hope that this really helped you with that. As always, thank you so, so much for being here. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already so you don't miss out on future videos. I hope you are having the most amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a lot of really fun stuff to share with you guys. We are actually going to be heading out to our front porch. We're gonna be getting that all cleaned and decorated for fall. This is our first time having our front porch actually decorated in our new house. So I'm really excited just to see how everything turns out. And I really wanna make it very inviting and just super cozy. So hopefully everything will turn out how I'm kind of hoping it will. But before we head out there, I actually wanna jump into the kitchen and just get everything nice and clean in there and also share a really easy and quick crock pot recipe. That's what we're gonna be having for dinner tonight. So I wanna get that going before going into our front porch. So anyway, we have a lot to get done. Let's go ahead and jump on into it. I wanna hear you say it. Yeah. All my thoughts are running, running around inside my head. Emotions keep coming. They're keeping me from thinking straight. Thought it would be different when I got my things in place. Stuck in this commotion. How come I pass this yet? I wanna me to be somebody else, another me that doesn't need your help. But if I'm honest, I don't think we got it. I try to change the things you never like. Try to make this better, make this right, but we're the same. Even though I changed, really made an effort, promised I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Oh, 
Start a life in the country I can say yes to that Whatever way you want me I'll learn it all and I'll adapt Even if I changed up Everything except my name We will still be fighting Cause I am still the same I wanna be the be somebody else Another me that doesn't need your help But if I'm honest I don't think we got it I try to change the things you never like Try to make this better, make this right But we're the same Even though I changed Really made an effort, promise I would change But some So a few of you have suggested in the comments just to swap our dining room around a little bit and basically move the chairs to the other side of the table and then move the bench to the front side of the table where you see it from the kitchen. So I decided to go ahead and do that today and just see what you guys think. I think I'm actually liking it the new way a little bit better, but I'm not totally sure on it. So let me know your opinion in the comments. But something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about was something that I actually had mentioned to you over on my community tab. For the last several months, I have been sharing one longer video every week but I've kind of been toying with the idea of sharing two shorter videos every week and so over on the community tab I had actually asked you guys which you would prefer and I think the majority of you have said that you would rather have two 15 to 20 minute videos instead of one 30 to 40 minute video so I think I'm gonna go ahead and try that out on the channel for a little bit and see kind of how you guys are liking that I feel like it'll give me the chance to share a little bit more variety on my channel and it will also be a lot easier than sharing a really really long video so we'll kind of see how it goes no matter what I don't think I'll end up having two videos every single week I think I will still have an occasional longer video one week and then some shorter videos another week but either way just kind of pay attention to that over the next little while and kind of let me know how you're liking it So you guys know I love throwing in a few mindset chats here and there in my videos. I just feel like it's always beneficial for us to kind of work on our mindset and just be more aware of things. So anyway, the other day I was talking to my friend Lynn and we were both just kind of going through some things personally and sharing about that with each other. And she ended up sharing some of the things that she felt were her shortcomings and I was doing the same kind of sharing with her how I was feeling like I was falling short. And it was just kind of eye-opening to me again because as she was saying the things that she was feeling like she was falling short, in I was just looking at her and not understanding how she was feeling that way at all because I see her in such a different light than she's seeing herself and the same for me she sees me in such a different light than I see myself we know all of our imperfections and we really kind of tend to focus on our flaws I feel and so I was just thinking man I really really wish that we could see ourselves like others do. I feel like we would love ourselves so much more, we would have better self-esteem. So I would challenge you to talk to a friend or your partner or your siblings or somebody and just tell each other some things that you think about the other person. Continue to build each other up because really we are amazing and we need to stop being our worst enemy in life. We need to be building ourselves up and it's sometimes hard to do so find someone that you know loves you and just let them build you up a little bit and completely believe the things that they are saying and do the same for them because we deserve to enjoy this life and just love ourselves and I really feel like this could be so impactful for us. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires. The words you be, cause we're scared of the silence. We should be good, but we keep lighting fires, fires around ourselves. Okay. 
so the kitchen is all nice and clean i am gonna tidy up the living room once we're done with this but it's really just putting a few throw pillows and blankets away but the recipe that i'm gonna share with you guys is a really really easy one it's just one that you basically chop up all of your produce and then toss everything in the slow cooker and let it do the work for you so it is a slow cooker meatball stew it is super super delicious really hearty and I feel like it's perfect, especially if you live somewhere that's pretty chilly right now where you're starting to get into like that crisp fall air. It's so, so cozy and perfect for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and chop up all of our produce. And as always, I will have a recipe card put up on the screen so you can go ahead and screenshot that and kind of refer back to it whenever you want or you can also print it off as well. Set up a stage of lights Say we're done, say it's over Shouldn't be coming back But somehow we cut back Acting drunk even though we're sober We should be good but we keep lighting fires The words you keep cause we're scared of the silence We should be good but we keep lighting fires Fires around ourselves so like I said, the first thing that you're going to do is start by chopping up all of your veggies and you can choose to peel your potatoes or leave the peel on. We just wash them really good and usually opt to leave it on, but that's totally up to you. Now, once you have all of the prep work done, you're just going to add everything into your slow cooker. So you're gonna add your chopped up veggies, your frozen meatballs, ketchup, water, vinegar, and basil all into your slow cooker, and then stir that until it's all well combined. Now, I will say you can totally add more water if you want this to be like a thinner stew. It is very, very, very thick when you're done, but we really like that. We just feel like it's very hearty that way, but definitely know that you can change that up, and you can also change up this recipe a lot. Like if you like a lot more potatoes, if you like a lot less meatballs, if you like more carrots, kind of whatever you like, definitely customize this to your own liking it's not really one of those picky recipes so it will turn out amazing however you do that now once you get everything added in you are going to put the lid on and then cook on low for six to eight hours and I will show you a little bit later on in the video how everything turned out but it is so so yummy Maybe tonight, we could make it out we got nothing else to prove no looking back we started something
So we are out front, right in our front porch. I have some things that I've had for years and I have a few new things for our porch. I'm gonna kind of start pulling things out, especially since being in the new house, I've just been not really sure how things are gonna turn out. It's just like totally new spaces. I kind of have like an idea of how it's gonna turn out or like what I'm gonna do in the space. And then there are some areas where I'm like, I really know not much of an idea. So I know I'm gonna start with a big rug and a front porch rug. I know I have a wreath and then I have some other ideas. So I'm gonna start kind of slowly getting into it, I guess, um, but bear with me. This is always how it goes. You just, you just gotta start somewhere, even when you don't really know where to start. But before we do, I am gonna turn you around and give you a good overview of kind of how everything is situated out here. Okay, so you walk into this like little corridor area and then off to the side, this is actually open, but I do have the bench that we had at our old house there. And then just the pillow that we had there, it's kind of sitting there on its own, looking a little lonely. And then right here we have our front door. This is a rug that I got from Costco a while back. It's actually been kind of a little bit of a tripping hazard. We shifted it to this side because it's it was like tripping everybody. So I think I'm gonna trade that out for something that might work a little bit better in this space. And then off to the left, we have like these little chairs and table. I'm not sure if I'm gonna decorate over in here or if I'll kind of try to keep it more in this area, but we have like a very, very blank slate to start with. So it'll be good. to each other i know we feel the same about the situation like we're stuck inside a game time to get out of this circle yeah we both carry a scar as you write the part we're playing time to cherish who we are the only thing i ever wanted starts with us taking the chance not like anything we've done before oh oh yeah so once I tidied everything up out here and got a clean slate going, I just added this textured 3x5 rug as a base and then I added just a regular welcome mat and I love doing this layered look because it really makes things look a little bit more high end and it also starts to tie in any decorations that you might have on the side of your door just because you can kind of sit the decorations on top of the bigger rug and it just pulls it all together and makes it look very cohesive. And as usual, I will try my best to link everything that I can find down below a lot of these things we did already have and also a lot of things came from TJ Maxx and home goods so I can't really link those but anything I got from a traditional store that's still in stock I will definitely link it below and as always if you have any questions be sure to let me know in the comments and I can try to answer where I got everything from it's always mixed emotions the first step is always hard when you walk out of the doorway but that's just the place to start the only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance. Not like anything we've done before. Oh, oh, yeah. Now it's time for something better. And time for us to follow our dreams. No, we can't stay no more. Come run away. I think I'm like partially done. I really like this area over here and I think I like this area. I actually wish that I could kind of elevate this guy a little bit more, but at the moment I'm just drawing a blank of things that we have that would work and I don't run out, want to run out and just grab something for that. So at the moment we're just going to leave it as is. 
but I do have these hay bales. I'm thinking I'm gonna end up returning most of those hay bales because I was just like hoping I could do a lot more hay bale stuff in here. I think I really loved how that little nook turned out inside the house and so I was kind of trying to recreate that a little bit, a little bit differently, but kind of the same concept out here. So I got those hay bales thinking I would do that and I'm just not really seeing like a good spot for them. I did use one down in here just to add a little texture and like background in there. It's actually still wrapped and I don't think that you can really tell that it's wrapped. So I might even just leave that and it will just like stay a little bit nicer and not as messy. So anyway, but I do think I want to do a little something out here. So I have, I brought this table down from upstairs. I think we're going to still use that one. I'm going to wipe it off and then just kind of see what I can do with this area. I want to keep it pretty simple over here, but still add something. So let's carry on. So as I'm continuing decorating, you'll kind of see that I've added a mix of Halloween and fall. And the reason I'm doing that is because one, I want this to be really fun for our kids because they live here too. And I just know that they don't quite have the same love for fall decor as I do, yet they love Halloween and all the jack-o'-lanterns and things like that. But also I'm doing this because I only want to decorate once, so I'm just kind of mixing it all together. And it's neat doing it like this because it ends up making the space look really intentional and it's not full-blown Halloween, but it's just kind of a mix of Halloween and fall. So I ended up remembering that I had this canister. I had actually had this since we lived in Utah. It used to have a top and I have no idea. I think the top got ruined, but I can flip this upside down and you don't even know that that's not how it goes. So I think I'm gonna try that and see how that works. So here I'm just going through and adding in some battery powered candles just to kind of liven this up during the nighttime. And I love how everything turned out. However, I really want to find some that are on like a timer or it would be great if we could find some that were solar powered and that way I wouldn't have to change them out throughout the season. But if you guys know where to find some great candles like this that are on a timer, definitely let me know in the comments. Here is how the stew turned out. As you can see, it is so thick and hearty and it's very, very cozy and warm. And we typically will serve this with a side salad and a dinner roll and just call it a day. Keep on holding my head high 
Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys loved it. I really am so thankful to be able to share this all with you guys and just be able to enjoy this community together and just bounce ideas off each other. I hope you guys got lots of ideas from everything that I shared today, whether it's just some cleaning inspiration or decorating ideas for the seasons or even just hanging out with a friend and hearing that little mindset chat that I shared with you guys earlier. Either way, I hope this video is beneficial for you to watch. I hope you are having the most amazing day. You absolutely deserve it. Do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are decorating for Halloween. This is only my second year decorating for Halloween, but last year our family loved it so much, especially our boys, and I'm all set. Last year I wore a witch's hat, and this year I have a cute little ghost sweater, so I'm feeling a little festive right now, but I am so excited, and the boys are so, so looking forward to having all like the jack-o'-lanterns and just everything kind of fun and Halloween-y in here. I don't know if that's a word. Of course, before we start decorating, I do have some cleaning to do in our living room and also our kitchen. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. So I am just starting out by tidying up our living room and I wanted to start in here actually because there really wasn't a whole ton to do in here. Really it's just kind of tidying up the pillows and blankets and of course that pop-up tent that you saw a second ago. But because we have our theater room upstairs and also because we spent a ton of time outside here in Arizona, I just don't find their living room typically gets really messy, which is definitely a blessing because our kitchen is always a mess I feel. But I did want to update you guys on our coffee table a few of you guys have been asking over on Instagram and then here on YouTube sometimes so I wanted to let you know what's been going on with that so a few months back I had put in an order I found a coffee table that I really liked we just ended up deciding not to do the concrete coffee table just because we felt like it might not be the best for our kids so anyway I put that order in and there's a whole long story that goes along with it but Basically, I had to cancel that order. Just a ton of stuff fell through with it, and so I ended up ordering another one, and that one should be here by the end of the month. So fingers crossed because I am really getting tired of not having a coffee table. I feel like our living room always looks incomplete, so I'm hoping that it will come on time, and soon enough we will finally have a coffee table.
So I wanted to let you guys know a little update on this. So in a previous video, I had actually kind of rearranged our table. Normally we have the two chairs on the side that the bench is on and the bench is up against the window. And we have just always had our table set up like that. I think it was because we didn't have a lot of room in our South Dakota dining room. And so we ended up putting the bench on the wall side and that way the kids were able to kind of squeeze in there. But now that we're in our Arizona home and we don't have to push the table up quite as far up to the wall, we have a lot more room there and it just ends up working out so much nicer this way and I feel like it's way more inviting. It's just all around a good thing. So I'm really, really happy that so many of you guys had recommended me to do that and I'm glad that I ended up just giving it a chance and trying it out because we love it so much. So one quick thing that I want to mention is I always get questions from you guys about our black silverware. One, where I got it, and two, if we like it and how it's holding up. So I can't remember when I picked these up, but I know it was definitely over a year ago, and they have held up so incredibly well. They have not chipped, they're not scratched, and I did get them on Amazon, so I do always have them saved in my Amazon favorites, which is linked in the description box below. So if you are in the market for some black silverware, definitely check these ones out that we have. We have loved them, and I totally would recommend them. I've lost you Telling you that I need you But you're off my radar now Found myself in between the lines Underneath your bed sheets It started fun But now I'm into deep into this flow A zero sum game that I will lose There's no sipping past it Every time you walk away from me, I want you. How could I want you more? Oh, when did I lose my perspective? Oh, God, have I lost it? But my cravings for you so shameless. Can't get enough. I've lost you. But I need you. And you're off my radar now. I've lost you. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. There's no denial, I'm chasing ghosts. I'm like an outcast from pillar to post. Hitting you up, but I'm stuck on hold. Is it really a bad reception out there? Where are you heading? Why ain't gravity pulling you in closer to me? Yeah, I love
So here I'm just starting to clean our stove off. I feel like I was able to do a pretty good clean on our old stove. It was a gas stove and I was able to clean that pretty well with just my e-cloths. But on this electric stove, I am having to clean it like this so much more often. And so I kind of change it up how I clean it. I've used the pink stuff. I sometimes use Bon Ami. And then sometimes I use this Mrs. Myers cleaner like I'm using today. All of them work great. I just kind of like to change things up sometimes. But something we've shared a little bit over on the vlog channel is this stove actually doesn't work very well. I believe it's original to the house and so it's about 15 or 16 years old. I think it's just builder grade, it's nothing fancy. And so the heating elements are inconsistent, they don't work the best, and also all the letters have been worn off of that. So I've just kind of tested it out myself and I always am having to write the letters down, but every time I go to clean it, no matter how soft I try to clean it, I always scrub the letters off. And so every single week I'm having to rewrite the letters and sharpen be on there but anyway I just had to share that with you guys it's just so funny there's always like little quirky things whenever you move into a new home or not a new home but just a new home to you and that was definitely one of the quirky things that we found out about this home once we moved in So now that everything is nice and clean, I just had Kyle pull out the Halloween toads. So I am going to kind of pull those into the living room and go through everything and see what I have. And hopefully everything will work good in this space. I really haven't gotten much for like new this year. It's just kind of what we had, but I think we should be good because I'm not planning on doing like full, full blown Halloween. I'm planning on doing kind of like what I did with the front porch where I just kind of sprinkled in Halloween along with fall decor and that way it just doesn't feel overwhelming. Then we also got to keep up some of the fall decor because I really do love it. And I feel like I put it up a little bit later this year than I was hoping. So anyway, I think it'll be good, but let's go ahead and see what we got for Halloween decor.
so like I said, I am mostly using things that we had from the last year when I decorated for the first time. I did end up picking up just a few things over the last few months, but it was just a handful of items that I picked up, I think at TJ Maxx for the most part and Home Goods. They typically have a lot of really unique items and they also have great prices. So anytime you're looking for seasonal items, I would definitely check out those stores. But anyway, like I said, most of the items were ones that I had from last year. And if you haven't seen that video already, I will go ahead and link my last year's Halloween decorate with me. In that video, I shared where more of the items came from and I also shared some fun recipes in that one. So definitely check that out if you haven't already. But anyway, something that I did a little bit more this year as opposed to how I decorated for Halloween last year was I really more embraced the fall decor that I already had up and I left a lot of it up and just kind of added a Halloween twist onto everything and I love how that turned out. It just made everything a lot more cozy. It made me feel a little bit happier because although our kids love the Halloween decor and I do too, I think it's really fun. My heart just totally loves the fall decor and so it's really fun to be able to keep that up a little bit longer but still be able to incorporate some Halloween for the kids. And with that being said, I do not go for like the gory Halloween stuff. I know a lot of people do that and that's just not my style at all. So I kind of do a little bit more whimsical, anything really fun and cute. And I'm happy that our kids like that too, but it just makes me feel a little bit better not having anything like crazy or gory in our home. And so I love just kind of adding a more fun, whimsical touch to Halloween. It's just a lot of fun for the kids and it's something that just our whole family can enjoy. I think I'm liking it so far. I definitely still have quite a lot of fall up here and I'm still like kind of keeping those neutral fall tones, but as you can see, I've definitely added in some fun Halloween stuff. I think these are so, so cute. I'll give you like some good pans at the end of the video, but so far I'm really, really liking it. I do want to trade this out because although I love it, I feel like it's very, very fall and I actually found something, I think it like TJ Maxx. So I'm going to go ahead and put those up next and then move into the kitchen and then back into like the area by the couches once we have everything all cleared off. So if you've seen my other decorate with me videos, you know that I typically do not do much on our table. We typically just have like a fruit bowl here. And so I don't really do like a full tablescape or anything. And I'm not doing a full tablescape again today because we do eat at this table usually every night. And so I don't want to have to move all the placemats and move all the everything to make it functional for us. So I just keep it really simple. But because I did end up moving the fruit bowl to another part of the kitchen, I ended up having a space to add some decorations here. And I love how this turned out. And one tip that you'll see me do a lot is actually add a tray or some type of tray like item to the bottom of a few pieces of decor. And it just ends up making the space look really intentional and it makes everything look like it really belongs there. So keep that in mind when you're decorating. If you feel like a few items that you're adding in just look like they're sitting there, add a little tray or a placemat or something like that beneath them and it will end up making it look like it was very intentional and like it was meant to be there. So 
So the next thing that I'm doing and something that you see me do all the time whenever I'm decorating for the holidays or seasons is to change out your kitchen towels. This is such an inexpensive way to decorate for the seasons. It's also functional and practical. And like I said, it's just very affordable to do this. And I feel like it does make a pretty decent impact. So don't overlook the kitchen towels whenever you are going to decorate for the season. And another thing that is very affordable and does make a big impact for Halloween is adding in like some spider webs to your fall decor, especially if you're trying to keep your fall decor up longer. Adding in some spider webs will make a huge difference and just give that little spooky effect. And then also something that I did last year and something that I'm continuing to do this year is add in these little bats. I just picked these up off of Amazon. So I will have the ones that I got linked down below. I liked it because they had some larger sizes in there, but they have a ton of different options. So definitely just kind of search on there and see which ones you like. But you can add these to a lot of different spaces in your home and it really just kind of gives that spooky Halloween feeling. And again, both the spider webs and the bats are going to give a big impact and they are very affordable. So that's another great option. So as you can see, the kids wanted to come help and I always try to include them, especially when I'm decorating, if they are interested in decorating with me. I always try to let them come in and join me because this is their home too and I want them to feel good about the decorations that we have in our home and I want them to feel like they can contribute to holiday decor and just let them enjoy that a little bit because that's something that I find a lot of joy in and so I definitely don't want to exclude them if they are interested. Now with that being said, I definitely don't force them to help me. It's only if they want to, but usually when they see me decorating for things that they're actually interested in like Halloween or Christmas, they usually will jump in and try to help out and I love that. I think that's so fun. So now we have everything nice and decorated and I love how it turned out. There's just like little pops of Halloween everywhere, but I feel like we still kept like the fall vibes going and just like a lot of those warm neutrals. So I'm really, really happy with everything. Luke and Noah already came down and helped me a little bit. So they already saw it and they love it already, but I cannot wait to show Liam to see what he thinks. I think he's gonna love a few little touches here and there but before we are done with today i want to bring the kids in the kitchen and work on some little treats i've already told the kids about the treats and they're going to come down and help me but i'm really excited to share these like really yummy halloween treats with you guys so let's jump into All it the boys are super excited to be making these because they know once they're made they get to enjoy them but the first thing that we're going to do is make some muddy buddies this recipe is just on the back of like every checks box, but we're gonna make Muddy Buddies and then we're going to add in a few extra little treats in there to make them like Halloween-esque. So we have like a lot of little goodies right here. We have little eyes and some chocolate pretzels, white chocolate, some, M &Ms. yeah, scream M&Ms and Andy just kind of everything so yeah. anyway we have all our stuff we're gonna go ahead and start making some money buddies
so I do have a video from a long time ago when I first started my channel where Luke did a cooking with Luke and he kind of shares how to make these. So I'm going to go ahead and link that video up above. Luke was so much younger, but it was such a cute little video. But I do want to share a quick little story. So when Kyle and I were very first dating, I actually made him Muddy Buddies. My best friend's mom always made Muddy Buddies growing up. And so that's how I originally found out about Muddy Buddies, but it's definitely not a secret. Like I said, they are on the back of every single box. But when Kyle and I were first dating, I actually made Muddy Buddies for him and he loved them so much. He had never heard of them. He had never had them before. So anyway, I probably made them for Kyle like once a year. Fast forward to a few years later, we were about to make Muddy Buddies again. So Kyle and I were grocery shopping together and I was telling him I was going to make them and we were walking through the cereal aisle and I was like, okay, go ahead and grab checks and then just look on the back and we'll pick out whatever else we need that's on the recipe. And when he looked on the back of the checks box and saw the Muddy Buddy recipe, his jaw dropped and I was like, what? Like, what is wrong? And he told me that he loved Muddy Buddies so much because of course one, it was delicious, but two, he thought that I made up the recipe specially for him with all the things that he loved. And so it was so funny because I had no idea. He had never told me that. That's just what he had assumed. And so it was just such a funny thing to learn that that's kind of like why Muddy Buddies were so, so special to him. But anyway, I just wanted to share that quick little story with you guys. I thought it was so funny. Okay, so this is like a little bit weird, but because we have so much, you wanna make sure you have like a completely unscented trash bag, and then you can t dump your Muddy Buddies into here, and it just makes the whole mixing process so much easier. So now we have our Muddy Buddies all made up. They're just kind of chilling in the trash bag. You can kind of see them in there. But we are gonna leave those in there for a minute. The next thing we're gonna do is take the chocolate covered pretzels and make them into mummy pretzels. So we're gonna start by grabbing some parchment paper and then we're gonna end up um, melting some white chocolate, drizzling that on, and then adding some little candy eyeballs. So here we are just starting to make the little pretzel mummies and all we're gonna do is take regular chocolate covered pretzels and then in a bowl I am just melting some white chocolate chips and then I ended up adding them to a little Ziploc bag and then cutting the edge off of that and as you can see I'm just starting to drizzle it across the pretzels and it's kind of starting to look like a wrapped mummy and then we are taking that little eyes that I got and then we're adding them onto the top and then once you've done that you just stick it into the fridge to let them chill for a few and then break them apart and you are all done. finish up with this Halloween Muddy Buddy mix, you're just going to add everything into a bowl. I could not find a large enough bowl, so I'm actually using my crock pot, but we're just adding in the Muddy Buddies, some candy corn, also the little Halloween M&Ms, and then last but not least, those little pretzel mummies that we made earlier. Okay, you guys can have some. <laughs> mm. What are you guys eating first? I want one of the mummies. The mummies? I, I took 
candy corn puzzle. The candy corn? Mm, the candy corn or the one. pumpkin? You don't know? Yeah, <laughs> It was know. orange. Mm. Do you remember when you did like a cooking with Luke a long time ago and you made bunny buddies? Yeah. So that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I love decorating for Halloween for our kids. It's so much fun and it just makes it like really fun and festive in our home. And I'm really happy that I ended up keeping quite a lot of the fall decor. It just makes my heart happy. And then all of the Halloween decor really makes our kids happy and just excited for the holidays coming up. So I love how everything turned out. I hope you guys got lots of decorating ideas, enjoyed hanging out with a friend and also some cleaning motivation. And if you guys end up making that snack mix that I shared, go ahead and tag me over on Instagram. I'd love to see how yours turns out and see if you guys added anything special to yours. I do have lots of new videos coming out very soon, so make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss out on all of those. I will also put up a video on the screen right here that you can go ahead and watch next if you haven't seen it. I hope you guys have the most amazing day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys! Welcome back to my channel. Today I am focusing on some areas that I have been neglecting and just some areas that need a little extra TLC and care. So that is why we are upstairs right now. I want to really focus on our boys' bathrooms. I also want to tackle our theater room and get that really nice and picked up because right now it's a bit of a mess. I also want to kind of change up this like game room slash workout room up here. It's just kind of been a hot mess. It's just been like that basically, and we have a lot of plans for that. And then once we are done up here, I'm gonna go downstairs, get the main living area clean because that one always is needing a little extra love. And then once we are done cleaning, I actually have some house projects that I wanna get done. There are things that have just been kind of on our running list of things that we wanna to do to the house. So we are gonna start tackling some of that as well. So we have a lot to get done today. I'm not sure if we'll get it all done today or if we'll have to go into it tomorrow, but either way, we're gonna tackle as much as we can. So without further ado, let's get to it. I wanna hear you say it. Trying to go, hit a party, jumping off. Hey, we putting on a show, trying to catch a vibe. We do this every time, like, na 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 Feeling like I'm on the highway, cause everything been going my way. And now they looking at me sideways. I'm like, na 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 This is where I want to be, na na na. Never ever gonna leave. I 
don't really know what to say about these bathrooms other than sometimes when things are out of sight, out of mind, you just don't even focus on them when they're not in your face all the time. And being that these are the boys' bathrooms, these are not bathrooms that I go in every single day or that I spend a lot of time in, I just don't always get around to cleaning it. And also, I will say that sometimes things can feel a little bit overwhelming. These bathrooms have been a little bit crazy. We don't have a lot of organization in here right now, and they are definitely not set up the way we want them to be in the end. So with that, they kind of get a little bit more out of control a little bit quicker than other places in the house. And sometimes chores like these can feel very overwhelming just because it feels like it's going to be a much bigger project, a more time consuming project than another area that you kind of clean a little bit more regularly. And that's totally what it was like in here. I was just feeling like, man, I'm gonna have to spend an hour cleaning cleaning these bathrooms and in the end once I got going with this I cleaned both the boys bathrooms in a matter of 15 maybe 20 minutes and that was for both of them together so it really did not take a whole lot of time or even a whole lot of effort but it was just kind of like a mind thing it just made me feel like I was going to have to spend a lot of time in there and devote a lot of time into that room so I was just kind of putting it off but now that it's not put off it's felt so much nicer walking past these rooms and just knowing that everything is really nice and clean on what a day to be alive what a dream to have a heartbeat What a way to spend my time walking on this satellite. Everything I need is here and now. Look at how the colors dance around. So I am using a few different things in these bathrooms. First time using the Athos bathroom cleaner. This is my first time using this. They have a lot of different scents and a lot of different products, but so far I'm really loving them. And then I also wanted to share how I'm cleaning their shower and bathtub. So I am just using the Dawn Power Wash to spray. This stuff works incredibly well on so many different areas, but all I'm doing is just spraying it down and then using this OXO scrub brush. A lot of times I will use a broom and that actually works honestly a little bit better when you're working with like a bathtub but I wanted to try this out because I've been using it on our shower doors so if you are cleaning shower doors I would definitely suggest using this one but if you're doing like a whole bathtub I actually would recommend just going to the Dollar Tree and getting a broom it will clean your bathtub so quick and easy without having to bend over a lot or do a lot of scrubbing and because you can find brooms at the Dollar Tree this is a very very inexpensive way to clean your bathtubs
So I'm sure as you've been watching me clean these bathrooms, you've noticed that they are a little bit crazy colors. If you've been watching for a while, you know that we actually had painted all of our boys' rooms. They were like bright turquoise, purple, and pink, and we painted them just a neutral white, and we're going to be doing like full room makeovers fairly soon with those. And their bathrooms were painted to match by the previous homeowners, so we plan to do like a full bathroom makeover in here. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we have multiple bathrooms even outside of these ones that we really want to do a full makeover. Now we're not going to be completely gutting them or anything because the countertops and the cabinets are all in really good shape but we do plan to change out fixtures change out the mirrors and definitely paint in there so all of that is going to come I'm not exactly sure when we're going to get to that just because we do have a long list of things that are kind of taking a little bit more priority but at some point we will be doing that and I cannot wait because these bathrooms definitely need a little bit of a facelift and this is totally off subject but before I forget I do want to remind you guys about a giveaway that I have going on on my most recent marathon video so I will have that link down in the description box for you to go check that out. There are still a few more days to get entered into that giveaway. So here I'm just doing a very, very quick tidy in our boys' bedrooms. Usually they are in charge of taking care of their own rooms, but I figured since I was already up here cleaning anyway, it would only take me a few minutes just to go ahead and get their rooms tidied up. And then once they got home from school, they could see that was not something that they had to tackle. And then I went ahead and just kind of did that for them. So that's all I'm doing here. And then later on, I will come back in and vacuum.
So like I said, this game room area slash workout space was just not functioning well for us. It was very cluttered looking, I think because we had the treadmill kind of in the middle of the wall. And then also we had no height in the room. And so we ended up grabbing the bookshelf that was down in Kyle's office. This was always intended to go up in this room, but we just had not had the motivation or had the time to get it done. So we just ended up clearing off the bookshelf and bringing it upstairs and just kind of reorganizing the space, kind of moving things around. And this is another perfect example of how you do not have to have your whole plan all together before you start tackling something. When I first was working on this room on this day, I really didn't know exactly how things were going to work out we kind of had to move things around shift things around and just continue to readjust stuff and it ended up turning out perfect it just is so functional for our family we are back up here all the time Kyle and I are starting to work out up here we are also doing our nightly reading up here with the boys now that they have their books up here and we're also starting to play board games as a family so I'm really really happy to have this space kind of functioning for the first time since moving into this house it's just turning out really, really well. There's still a lot more we wanna do to the space, including painting the walls and just a few other things. But for now, I'm gonna call this room a win. It turned out so, so good. We've got our whole lives, no indignance inside. Darling, all I wanna do is be with you. And I know we've got our whole lives, no indignance inside. Darling, your heart can go or the beauty of your soul oh you where were you all the we got to this room like pretty much set up i feel it was such a mess like we wanted it to function in two different ways we wanted to have like a game space but we also wanted to have like a workout station and before it just every time you walk past here it was not inviting it just looked really really cluttered so i ended up taking out that other bookshelf i'm not sure what i'm gonna end up doing it but we brought this one up from kyle's office but i feel like now it actually functions or it looks like it's gonna function well and it also is like very inviting adding the plant in there adding some height to this wall it just and moving the treadmill from like the middle of the room to the corner I feel like just made a big difference. So I do, however, need your guys' opinions on something. So I did get this family sign down here and it actually was intended for downstairs, like in our shelving down there. But I, as I was putting this together, I was like, wow, this I think would look really nice up here and just kind of add something. So I do really like it. It has some cool texture on there. So there's three options. I could either not include it in the space or I could put it like up above that bookshelf or I could put it over here like up higher and then add maybe like a small little collage not a huge collage wall but just like a small little collage wall of family pictures and pictures of the boys and things like that so I'm gonna turn you guys around but keep in mind where you guys think this would go if it should go above there on the wall or just not in the space at all every other one was wrong and I found where I think I'm at myself. I don't ever want to be with anyone else. We got the kind of story that the stories would tell. Different than I've ever felt. And I know we've got our home. Another option that I just briefly thought about is possibly maybe scooting this bookshelf over just a touch and then adding like a quote or something like that on the wall. Like a large quote. Like decals and stuff i don't know i feel like it could do well to fill that space but i'm just not sure but then i'm not sure if the collage wall would be like very make this wall very busy so i don't know i'll have to think about it but let me know what you guys think Indignous inside darling all i want to do is be with you and i know we've got our whole lives no inside 
this next thing that I'm going to be doing is reorganizing a few of our games or not really reorganizing them but actually organizing a few of the games that are not already organized so this is an idea that I had gotten from you guys back when we lived in our Utah house so many of you guys had this idea to share with me so all I did is just order these bags on Amazon and I will have them linked down below but they have worked out so so well so all you do is just take all the contents out of the boxes of your board games and then I just end up tearing off the front cover of the board game box and I stick that right inside of the bag and then I have everything zipped up and it's nice and compact. You can see exactly what's in each bag and that just ends up making them so much easier to store and also we are not losing any pieces because they are all contained in a bag. I don't know about you guys but our board game boxes always get damaged, they always get messed up and we end up losing a lot of pieces so this has been such an amazing thing for us. So if you have a lot of board games as well and you kind of want to reorganize them I would definitely suggest doing this. tonight yours here right now the kind of night we dream about oh 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 oh, oh. it's beautiful So this is our theater room. I know I haven't shown this a whole ton since moving into our new house, but we kind of have it similarly set up as we did in our Utah home. But even though this is fairly set up and functional, we do want to still do some things to this room. I definitely want to paint the walls and kind of change that up a little bit. And then I actually am thinking about getting a different TV stand. If you've been following along since we finished up our basement in our Utah home, you might remember that I got this TV stand and put it together and it just did not work out that great. I wasn't ever really much of a fan of it and so I've been kind of on the lookout for a different one especially since kind of changing up the style in our new home. So if I find one I will definitely share that in a future video but either way something else to kind of look forward to when we paint this room and kind of finish it up and make it just what we're wanting.
so once I got done tidying everything up, I just went ahead and started vacuuming and you'll see in just a second, but I'm actually going to be slow vacuuming this room. And I've shared this so many times with you guys, but if you have not slow vacuumed, I would highly suggest that you try it out. All you do is do a regular vacuum throughout the room and then you're going to go back through and do a slower vacuum. You're literally going to take five or 10 minutes and just slowly, slowly, Pull the vacuum across your carpet and I like to empty out my canister in between those vacuums and that way I can really see all that was just left in my carpet after doing a regular vacuum. Once you see that I know you will be convinced and that slow vacuuming will be something that you do in your routine all the time but it just makes such a huge difference specifically on carpets and rugs. The next day, once I got everything all cleaned upstairs and game room area kind of reorganized and situated, the boys were getting home from school and we just decided to take the rest of the day and make it a family time. So I did not end up having time to come downstairs and clean the living room and kitchen, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and tackle that right now. And then once I'm done in here, Kyle and I are actually going to build the sideboard for his office. A lot of you guys have been mentioning that we should be moving the bookshelf and I think I had said this earlier but that was never intended to stay in his office in this house. It was always meant to go upstairs, we just had not gotten around to it. But we didn't wanna move it until we were ready to build the sideboard because he needs like some function in that space. So we're gonna go ahead and get that built and then I'm not sure exactly what else we'll get done today but as always, we have a lot that we want to do, so let's jump on into it.
So one of my recent videos, I had shared kind of like a back to school prep where I was organizing some things and decluttering some clothes and everything. And in one part of that video, I was actually organizing the boys back to school lunch station. And it was so funny because I did that before we did like the back to school orientation at our boys school. And since they did online school last year, I was not aware that they were actually doing free lunches at school. So once I found that out, I thought, man, I wish I would have not even bothered with the back to school lunch station because I figured our boys are just going to have hot lunch all the time. But in the end, both Liam and Noah have been choosing to have cold lunch basically every day. So that little station that I thought was going to be a waste ended up working out super well. So this microwave is one of the many things that we need to replace or change out in our kitchen. This microwave is actually pretty broken. It kind of works, but it always makes a noise like 24 seven. And a lot of times this top piece will just pop down so you can see the piece of tape on there. Also funny enough, our stove really doesn't work very well. Like we always are either burning things or it's not cooking properly. So we need to replace several appliances in our kitchen. And those are two of the top ones. So I'm sure we will share that over on our vlog channel but for now we were just kind of making do and taking care of the things that we have even if they're not the exact thing that we were wanting. The living room was not super messy. I feel like ever since kind of getting the theater room upstairs situated and the game room, or the boys, I guess, haven't been hanging out down here like with their toys. So the living room has been staying pretty clean. But anyway, got that all tidied up. The kitchen, which was a mess, is all cleaned up. I did want to say I finally found a coffee table. So I had talked about possibly doing like a concrete DIY and honestly I still want to do one at some point just to kind of test it out and like see if my idea will work on it but we kind of decided it would have pretty hard edges and it just might not be the best thing to have in like the main living area so we are not going to do that but I did finally find a coffee table I think it's going to work great and I'm not really sure when it's going to arrive everything is like way pushed back so I'm still waiting back for an email to hear like when they think it will arrive, but I'm hoping it will be like within the next month. So we'll kind of see, I'm kind of getting over not having a coffee table or like something to prop our legs up on. 
um, just because that's what we usually like to do when we're sitting in here. So anyway, I did want to let you know that we do have a coffee table coming. I just don't know when exactly it will be here. But now that we have all of this done, we are going to move into Kyle's office and start building a furniture piece that I had picked up at Ikea in the last month or so. We've just been kind of waiting for a chance to build it and we have that chance today. So we're gonna go ahead and get his sideboard built. And then I also do want to vacuum the floors just a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump on into building furniture. So like I said, the piece of furniture that we are building here is from Ikea, but it is specifically the Besta unit. I think that's how you say it, but honestly, I'm not 100% sure how to say all the Ikea furniture pieces. But anyway, this is basically just a sideboard, so it's a really cool system. We actually use the Besta system in what will be our guest room, but we did like a different configuration. So we basically had it as an enclosed bookcase, but then we put three of them stacked right next to each other to kind of create like a wardrobe space. But then for Kyle's office, we wanted it to just be three cabinets wide, so it's really cool at Ikea. You can really customize the Besta units however you want and then you can also pick the look of them as well so you can pick like different finishes and the door finish that I chose for Kyle's office was a faux concrete finish I'm loving that look right now I feel like it looks very cool when you can add some more earthy tones with something very modern like concrete but once we got it all built and put up in Kyle's office you can really start to see the design style in his office it's definitely far from done we have a lot of things to change up we still plan to change out the light fixture in there we want to paint the walls and we also want to add some decorative and functional pieces in there as well but you can kind of get the gist of how I'm planning to style this space and I'm absolutely loving it so far and so far he's loving it as well which is really the most important thing since this is his workspace but anyway you guys will have to let me know what you think of the faux concrete doors if you like that style or if it's a little bit too different or modern for you
comes next, I'll be right there beside you. Right, we have Kyle's office all set up. So this is not how it's going to be finished or anything. We still have more we wanna do. We wanna add that picture and I think I wanna add some shelves. There's just, there is quite a bit more that I still wanna do here. We also wanna add in a rug and kind of like be able to hide the cords here. But this is kind of the gist of it and I'm just loving it. I feel like this sideboard turned out so, so good. But now we just basically have to kind of wrap things up because now we have like cardboard all over our living room. So we're gonna go ahead and get the cardboard cleaned up and then I'll just run the vacuum over the floors and call it a day. Where do we go when the leaves turn brown? Where do we hide when the sun goes down? What do we do when the fire goes out? Stay by my side. Stay by my side How do we dance when the music dies? How do we swim when the river runs dry? What do we say when we're out of time? Just you and I So like I said, once we were finished, I just wanted to run the vacuum over the floors. We actually have a robot vacuum vacuuming our floors every single day, but with four cats, one dog, and three kids, I feel like we can always vacuum our floors once again. And just because we've been building that furniture, we kind of ended up making a mess and I just wanted to go ahead and finish everything off with some nice clean floors. And I feel like once your floors are cleaned, it makes such a huge impact on how clean your house feels as a whole. So. Anyway, that is everything for today's video. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I hope you got lots of cleaning motivation and also some decorating inspiration. And of course, just enjoyed hanging out with a friend today. As always, thank you so much for being here. And do not forget to subscribe down below if you are not already so you don't miss out on all the future videos. I hope you are having an incredible day and I will see you in my next one. Bye guys.